here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of numerical solution of ordinary differential equation welcome to video number 9 and in this particular video we are going to discuss about runge kutta method of fourth order in previous video that is in video number 8 we have discussed about runge kutta method of second order and we have included one very good question to discuss over this topic in the same way we will come to video number 9 that is runge kutta method of fourth order in this video we will see the working rule of this method along with that we will solve a very good question okay so let us start consider the ordinary differential equation that is dy upon dx equals to f of x comma y with initial condition y equals to y not when x equals to x not it means in the problem we will have two things that is function of x comma y and you will have one initial condition that is at x equals to x not y equals to y not okay and let's suppose you need to find value of y when x equals to x1 okay yes in that case what you need to do is if you want to apply runge kutta method of fourth order in that case you need to calculate successively that is k1 k2 k3 and k4 okay by using these four formulae one thing that you need to note is that let's suppose in the problem only runge kutta method is written okay in that case also we have to apply runge kutta method of fourth order okay i repeat this once again if only this thing is written in the problem that is runge kutta method in that case don't go for runge kutta method of method of second order we have to go for runge kutta method of fourth order okay so what is k1 that is h into f of x and comma y n what is k2 that is h into f of x n plus h upon 2 comma y n plus k1 upon 2 what is k3 h into f of x n plus h upon 2 comma y n plus k2 upon 2 and what is k4 that is h into f of x n plus h comma y n plus k3 k1 k2 k3 k4 they all are function values yes after finding k1 k2 k3 k4 you have to compute k what is k that is 1 upon 6 into k1 plus twice k2 plus twice k3 plus k4 what is k k is the weighted mean of k1 k2 k3 and k4 okay here what is k that is weighted mean of k1 k2 k3 and k4 after finding k we can find the value of y that is y n plus 1 is equals to y n plus k okay now coming to the question apply runge kutta method of fourth order solve dy upon dx equals to y square minus x square upon y square plus x square with y equals to 1 when x equals to 0 at x equal to 0.2 and x equal to 0.4 it means we need to find two values of y first when x equal to 0.2 and the second is when x equal to 0.4 yes here we have two things that is function of x on y what is that yes that is y square minus x square upon y square plus x square okay and we also have the initial condition that is when x equals to 0 y equals to 1 so we will take the subscript 0 for initial condition that now here we need to find y when x equal to 0.2 and 0.4 so we can take h equal to 0.2 because in the first step you will get y when x equal to 0.2 and in the next step you will get y when x equal to 0.4 let's suppose in the problem it was written like find the value of y when x equal to 0.2 and x equal to 0.3 in that case we had to take h equal to 0.1 because in second step we will get h equal to 0.2 and in the third step we will get x equals to 0.3 okay so since we have 0.2 and 0.4 as the value of x so we will consider h equal to 0.2 okay so in the step first step we will get y1 when x equal to 0.2 and in the second step we will get y when x equals to 0.4 okay so as the value of h equal to 0.2 so we can say that is x1 equals to x0 plus h that is x0 value 0 plus h that is 0.2 that is on adding both you will get x1 equals to 0.2 so using runge kutta method of fourth order what you can say we have to find k1 k2 k3 and k4 what is k1 that is h into f of x0 comma y0 what is h that is 0.2 what is function of x0 comma y0 function is given by y square minus x square upon y square plus x square yes x0 value is 0 and y0 value is 1 so in place of x and y will put 0 and 1 so 0.2 is as it is function that is 
this in place of x will put 0 and in place of y will put 1. So 1 square minus 0 square upon 1 square plus x is 0 square. On solving this we will get k1 equal to 0 0.2. Okay. Now after finding k1 we can find k2 that is h into f of x0 plus h upon 2 comma y0 plus k1 upon 2. H as it is. F of here we have x0 plus h upon 2, x0 that is 0, h upon 2 that is 0 0.2 upon 2 that is 0 0.1, okay, comma, y0 plus k1 upon 2. So we will divide this and add y0 that is 1. So we will get 1.1 as the value of this, okay. So in the function that is this, we will put x equal to 0 0.1 and we will put y equals to 1.1 and then we will multiply with h that is 0 0.2. On calculating this, we will get k2 equals to 0 0.1967, okay. Now we can find k3, that is h into f of x0 plus h upon 2, comma y0 plus k2 upon 2. Here you can see both the, the, both the value of x are same. So we can say this value is how much? That is 0 0.1, okay. Here we have k1, but here we have k2. So yes, don't write this value here, okay, because here we have to use k2. So divide this value by 2 then add y0 that is 1 then you will get 1.0984 as the value of this okay now in place of x we will put this value in place of y we will put this value in this, in this function then multiply h that is 0 0.2 on solving this we will get k3 equals to 0 0.1967 we can find k4 that is h into f of x0 plus h comma y0 plus k3 yes h into f of what is x0 plus h that is 0 plus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.2 comma y0 plus k3 what is k3 this and what is y0 that is 1 so on adding both you will get 1.1967 use this value of x and y in this function so you will get y square minus x square upon y square plus x square into h that is 0 0.2 on solving this you will get k4 equals to 0 0.1891 so we have k1 k2 k3 and k4 after finding these four values, we can find weighted mean that is k equals to 1 upon 6 into k1 plus twice k2 plus twice k3 plus k4. On solving this, you will get k equals to 0 0.1960 up to four decimal places we are taking. Okay. So, you will get the value of k equals to 0 0.1960 up to four decimal places. So, we can say finally that is y1 that is y at x equal to 0 0.2 is equals to y0 plus k what is y0 that is 1 and what is k that is 0 0.1960 on adding both you will get y1 equals to 0 0.1960 that is the value of y when x equals to 0 0.2 okay now we will find the value of y when x equal to 0 0.4 so now we have x1 equal to 0 0.2 y1 that is 1.1960 h is same that is 0 0.2 function xy that is y square minus x square upon y square plus x square we can find x2 that is x1 plus h or you can say x0 plus twice of h as the value of x2 okay both are same so x1 is 0 0.2 h is again 0 0.2 on adding both you will get x2 equal to 0 0.4 now we need to find k1 k2 k3 and k4 because we are using runge kutta method of fourth order so k1 equals to h into f of x1 comma y1 yes we are finding y2 Okay, that is at x equal to 0 0.4, that is x2, we are finding y2. So, we have to use the subscript that is 1. So, h, that is 0 0.2 into f of x1, y1. In this function, we will put x equal to 0 0.2, that is x1. And in place of y, we will put y1, that is this value. Okay, so on putting the value of x and y in this function and multiply with 0 0.2, that is the value of h, you will get k1 equals to 0 0.1891 in the same way we can find the value of k2 that is h into f of x1 plus h upon 2 comma y1 plus k1 upon 2 h is same that is 0 0.2 in place of x1 plus h upon 2 that is h upon 2 means divide this by 2 then add with x1 you will get this as 0 0.3 okay again come into this part y1 plus k1 upon 2 yes divide this okay yes this value upon 2 plus y1 that is this value that is 1.2906 now put the value of x and y in this function and multiply with 0 0.2 you will get k2 equals to 0 0.1795 now we can find the value of k3 that is h into f of x1 plus h upon 
comma y1 plus k2 upon 2 so h is 0 upon 2 yes you can see both are same so we can say yes 0 upon 3 comma but these two are not same because here we have k1 and here we have k2 so don't repeat this value okay so k1 plus k2 upon 2 k2 upon 2 means divide this with 2 then add with y1 that is this you will get this as 1.2858 now put the value of x and y in this then multiply with 0 0.2 you will get k3 equals to 0 0.1793 now we can find k4 that is h into f of x1 plus h comma y1 plus k3 so h is 0 0.2 function of x1 plus h that is x1 means 0 0.2 plus h that is 0 0.2 that is 0 0.4 comma y1 plus k3 y1 is 0 1.1960 plus k3 that is 0 0.1793 so on adding both you will get this as 1.3753 so on putting the value of x and y in this and multiply with 0 0.2 you will get k4 equals 0 0.1688 so we can say after finding k1 k2 k3 and k4 we can find the value of k that is weighted mean and that is given by 1 upon 6 into k1 plus twice k2 plus twice k3 plus k4 yes on putting this value here weighted mean that is k will be 0 0.1792 up to four decimal places okay yes so we can say y at x equal to 0 0.4 that is the value of y2 is given by y1 plus k what is y1 that is 1.1960 and what is k that is 0 0.1792 okay on adding both you will get y2 that is y at x equal to 0 0.4 is 1.3752 and this is what this is the value of y2 okay up to four decimal places okay thank you thank you so much